Dr. Eric Fishman, and we're here at the uh, His Talk Awards, and we have the extreme pleasure of talking to Jonathan Bush. Dr. Fishman, nice to see you again. We did this last year. Of and course, we do every year until we year. die. Until we die. It's going to be die. a lot of years. Yes. Now, there's been a couple of changes, maybe even a lot of changes, and maybe you can tell us some of the things, some of the highlights. You've gotten married since last year. I have gotten married. I've changed my accounting, which is exciting. Okay. Uh, the accounting, I guess, is a big thing on your mind these days. So That's all I can think about. obvious reasons. Yeah. When I ask uh, the taxi driver for my bill, I say, can I have the accounting? It's interesting. I don't know why it comes from. So let's talk about uh, the implementations. I bet you've had uh, more than a couple. You were in the teens of thousands when we spoke last year. Still in the teens of thousands. I think we're 22,000 providers. Neat. So just over the teens. And in the teens of thousands of physicians. I don't know the exact number, but somewhere in there. And you had some comments about your electronic health record as well as just your billing. You know, obviously that's right. Billing is the main so I last time we along. spoke, we, were, we loved our EMR like it was our baby, which means it was a little fat and ugly. But it was ours, so we loved it. And honestly, today we feel very proud of it. It's grown up. It's it's through puberty, and uh, we've got you know cooked children's. There's 400 is, is it physicians yet. It's dating. It's cute. It's Four, a prom queen. You've got 400 physicians. Oh using no, a thousand. It. Oh, a well, couple well, thousand. The EHR. A couple thousand. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we, we signed uh, Caritas Christi, which is 500. We signed cooked children's, and they actually went live already, which is. 400 or 386 or something like that and several thousand other ones so it's actually taken off way out of proportion with our plans for it you know because we love it we don't want to like overstress it by making it do too much and it way over delivered so we're very excited with Athena Clinicals and we have pricing we're working on where the doctor actually doesn't have to pay the full cost of Athena Clinicals. We've had all sorts of people today telling me that they're giving the software away and when they prove meaningful use, then they'll go ahead and pay for it. Well, our goal is to make Athena Clinicals cost less and less and less per doctor per year, every year. Meanwhile, to get the other folks who benefit from doctors using medical records to pay more and more and more. So the hospital receives an electronic virtual admission of a patient. That's a huge savings to the hospital, hundreds of dollars. And are you getting the hospitals to pay anything yet? Well, that's what we're working on. We haven't yet. But we've had a lot of interest, and we think it makes it pencils out for them to make money, and it certainly is more fair for the doctor. Because the doctor bears currently 100% of the cost of an EMR, and maybe they get, I guess, Blackford Middleton did research and said they get about 11% of the value. And we've 11%, heard, we've heard of a lot of hospitals now paying for EHRs. Are you going in that model? You well, we are always available. It's like my strategy for dating cheerleaders in high school. When I was in high school, I, I said I would refuse to date cheerleaders. Exactly. Uh, however, if any cheerleader had actually wanted to date me, I might have changed my strategy. So currently, our strategy is that hospitals should not fully subsidize only one EMR. Now, if any hospitals would like to, if any of you all, God bless you all, would like to subsidize us, then I'll change my strategy. That would work. That would work. I would love that. Now, you had some interesting things to say about my bread and butter dragon. Tell us how you really think about speech recognition. Well, so the way this works is... Learning engines need some control. They need something to stay still. When Dragon goes out and sells its software a la carte, the learning curve is scattered by all, across all the customers. What you really need is something like eScription, which now is owned by Nuance, which they own it Dragon, all. right. But that idea is the learning is centralized, right? So the individual users are out there in the world, but the learning engine is only one. That's what we need in speech recognition and what we haven't had yet. We think we could be that. We don't have a speech recognition engine, but, you know, we're available for dating. You like that uh, phrase. Yeah. Is your wife here now? I'm not available for dating women. No, but no, fair enough. Is She's your wife not, here you know, she has no interest in HIS, HIT, <laughs> HIA. What does she do? She's a postpartum doula getting a master's in social work, and she's the bravest, most solid human you. being in the world. Right, with five kids. I had five, she had none, she married me. Good for her. She's a freaking saint. So tell us about your billing for a couple of moments. Billing? Yeah, you do a little bit of billing. I do a lot of billing with a large, so I don't tell, know if we're tell, the largest, tell, but we're right up there. Tell us about that. Oh, I don't know what we did, $4 billion in, in physicians' collections last year. And basically what we've been doing is we've did, been... Did the auditors agree with that number at least? I don't know, I'm okay. not, I, 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 I'm talking about that number. I, I, I hereby recuse myself from any of these numbers. 
But the basic idea is we figured out that if you get all the physicians in the country to do their billing on one network, then all these esoteric rules that insurance companies throw in there, we, we can learn them. Learn that's, them that's once. That's what you said about speech recognition, which is have one exactly entity learn all exactly. Of the rules. So if you take that learning and you centralize it, then the incremental cost per doctor out there of central of, of, of the new, more educated rules engine for claims or speech recognition engine for dictation or P for P engine for hate, you know, whatever it's called, uh, HIS, uh, uh, ARRA, okay, High one. Tech Act, whatever the, the incremental, it's like a public utility. It's very expensive to set up and maintain, but the incremental, incremental cost, cost per doctor per benefit is very small, right? So that's our whole philosophy. It's the exact opposite of the software companies. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, there's no trade show for people like us, so we show up here. Well, here you are. So yeah. you, you were talking about presidential packages last year, if you remember that. I you love could. Obama's package. He looks awesome. So this is Dr. Eric Fishman. We've been speaking with Jonathan Bush, founder and CEO of Athena Health. Thank you.